Hi guys, this is Saurav and this is yet another video in the best productive app for your iPhone and iPad series and today we are going to take a look at Documents 5. So I'll see you after this short intro. So of late Documents 5 has been one of my favorite apps on my iPhone. So Documents 5 app has been created by a company called Readle and why it has got the number 5 documents just that because it's the fifth version of this app. Let me tell you this is one of my favorite apps of late on my iPhone and I use it uh, almost on a daily basis. The best thing about this app is it is completely free. There are no charges for using this app, totally ad free and there are no in-app purchases uh, using this app and it is optimized for both your iPhone and iPads. That's what I like about this app. There are a lot many things which you can do with this app which I'm going to tell later in this video. But before that, let's have a look at this app itself. So as soon as you open the app, you'll come straight into the documents uh, view of this uh, particular app. There is various options in this app. At the bottom, you will see documents, services, favorites, add-ons and there is one more good feature, browser, which I'm going to tell you a bit later on. So under the documents, uh, uh, section of this app. Uh, this is where all uh, your documents your files are going to be stored and From here you will access all your data uh, within this app So there are various folders which have come in by default uh, in this app with the iCloud iPod library iTunes Yes, you can also use this app as a media player and I'm going to show you a bit later on in this video Stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. Now. Let's have a look at the services uh, side of the things and in the services you can uh, connect your various cloud services uh, to this app right now i've got uh, my dropbox connected and when you click on add account you've got various options uh, of different cloud services which you can connect to this app so by doing this uh, all your files which are stored in different different cloud services can be accessed directly from one single app it's always convenient right so as i told you i've got my dropbox connected uh, over here so all my folders say in my Dropbox app uh, I can access it from here and the next section on this app is the favorites and the recent so this is where all your favorites and the recent files will appear so if you want to access it quickly then you can do it from here on the next section shows uh, the add-ons uh, there is nothing more uh, you have to buy uh, for, for using this app uh, over here it has shown the the ultimate productivity bundle apps and we'll be doing various videos of these apps on the channel so if you haven't seen the other videos i'll link them in the description down below so now let's take a look at the next section of this app which is the browser yes there's got a built-in browser uh, right within the app and you can access any website of your choice so let's see let's open youtube Com. and right here you can access the YouTube or you know any of your choice and the best thing about the browser functionality in this app is you can download files right from uh, this particular browser and you can access it right here under the download section you can download uh, PDFs you can download music which you cannot do it right from the default Safari app or the Google Chrome app on your iPhone or iPad. So I've got a media file which is downloaded uh, right here. Yeah. So if you want to build up a music library, then you can do it uh, by downloading songs right from the browser within the Documents app. And this app can also act as your media player on your iPhone or iPad. Now let's take a look at uh, the settings of this app. So for that, you need to press this uh, option and the first thing you get is the general and you've got all the good things over here the pass key law ios data protection and the one good thing uh, about this app is the wi-fi drive option so once you enable this uh, a wi-fi drive on the app then you can access the contents of this app right from your computer so whether it's a mac or a windows doesn't matter you can access it right from using this URL which is given HTTP 10.0.1.2 or it depends on uh, the IP address which you're getting on your phone let's open Safari and let's do HTTP 
colon forward slash forward slash iphone dot local and then you will get a message on your uh, phone or your tablet that allow web DAV connection from Mac so it will basically ask you to enable the connection uh, so you have to press OK on your phone and that's how you, you will see all the various folders uh, right on your computer so let's go to the downloads folder and this is the mp3 track uh, which I showed you which I downloaded from the browser section of the app and this is the text file which we created I am the best yeah kind of I think so so the other thing which you can do uh, right from uh, the computer is you can also upload a file so let's see uh, what we can upload uh, let's pick a small file it's a PDF uh, let's upload this one and it's pretty quick so uh, as you can see here is the, the PDF which we just uploaded from the computer and it will also reflect on your uh, tablet or your phone straight away and then we have the other options for sync you can sync the, the files between your multiple uh, iOS devices you can do it Wi-Fi only or Wi-Fi or cellular network it all depends on you and then you've got the, the file manager option you can control where the downloads file will be saved so now let me tell you how you can create and share a document using this app so for that you need to press on the edit option here to go into more create text let's say I am the best and if you come out of this so you can see the document right here and now you can do various things with this document uh, you've got the option to enable night mode so if you are working on your iPhone or iPad at night then you can enable night mode well, it's not run night right now so let me enable day mode and you've got the option to convert this into PDF so it will open the PDF converter app uh, uh, on your phone and as you can see it has converted it into PDF and then you've got various options to send it uh, via email save a copy or you can open it the next good thing about this app is uh, you can access your cloud storage uh, right from within the app as I shown you you can add uh, various accounts uh, your cloud storage accounts and you can access all the files from different cloud storage apps right from uh, this documents app so as I've shown you I've got my Dropbox connected and I can access any of my files right from here so I just have to press this and it will download the file in the download folder within the app and it is currently downloading it must be an old picture of mine yeah uh, of mine but yeah so that's how you can uh, download any document uh, right from your cloud storage app and you can also upload any of the file uh, from the documents app right into your cloud storage app so it works both ways you can download files from there and you can also transfer files from documents to your cloud storage app so guys as you have seen uh, there is a lot you can do with this app and it's surely going to make you more productive because you will be able to do your work faster as compared to other means of getting the same work done so i highly recommend this particular app in your productivity folder on your ipad or your iphone i'll give you the link to the app store in the description down below from where you can check more about this app and also download it as usual if you have any question do let me know in the comments down below and thank you very much for watching i'll see you in my next video cheers